<laughs> Just so you know, um, requiring my presence in court requires a notice from the state of jurisdiction. <laughs> There's not a judge anywhere in the United States that can request a person's presence in court without the required notice from the state of jurisdiction. Now you're going to fight me on this. I know you are, Judge Porter. Coach. But when I get to suing you, yes, I'm going to bring in that email that I sent to the Port Angeles Police Department and numerous other law enforcement agencies, Seattle FBI, <laughs> that I said, I'm not trying to evade going to court. I want the notice requiring me to appear. Now, there's one thing to say, well, my personal recognizance did not reasonably assure my presence as the defendant when required. But the truth of the matter is, I've emailed you every day for the last two years. Now, how the fuck would you interpret my... <coughs> Now, it could be, okay, mm -hmm. that somebody would like to read the forms that you issued, pooch, and then they'd like to read the email, Port Angeles Police Department, right now. Why don't you read the email? Now, I want you to remove your fraud, and you're refusing to do that. Mm -hmm. Now, I just wanted to know, okay, <laughs> 2011, how did you have civil jurisdiction of law or criminal jurisdiction of law to be able to issue a protection order? Mm -hmm. Without any due process to myself, yes. Without me being an actual resident, which, when there was criminal jurisdiction on Guam for my prosecution, yes. <laughs> they assigned a prosecuting attorney. The attorney general on Guam personally had some knowledge of the case. Isn't that right? <laughs> And the Guamanian government says, what? <laughs> now, we looked at these multiple evaluations in DV cases. Yes. <laughs> Since um, you issued that, yeah. Mm -hmm. You kept putting this uh, no contact until there's a mental health evaluation of respondent treatment if recommended. Ooch. <laughs> Exhibit A, Jack. Poo. <laughs> now, I know what you wanted. You wanted me to take the protection order in and just walk into any old <laughs> psychiatric type of place and say, well, the judge says I have to have a mental health evaluation. <laughs> you know how psychiatrists and psychologists, they know exactly what you need when you say that. <laughs> but it's really not... A court order, unless you define exactly what kind of mental health evaluation. <laughs> See, these mental health psychiatric evaluations, right. <laughs> the standard mental health evaluations focus on personality, <laughs> motivation, <laughs> cognitive, uh, psychological functioning, and the use of psychological tests and tools. <laughs> now, let's say I was just going to have one of the standard mental health evaluations. <laughs> Somebody was wanting to know about my personality, right? <laughs> what motivates me as an individual? Yes. <laughs> the cognitive <laughs> psychological. Do I? I'm not living in reality, but I keep looking at the dismissal of the case. Yes. <laughs> the expungement of my records. That's right. <laughs> the forgeries and fraud. And somebody says, you're just not with it, Paul. <laughs> But I'm thinking that walking into any sort of ooch, substance abuse evaluation, uh, you've been drinking again, haven't you? Ooch, there's all these different narcotics that I was using that I need to tell them. <laughs> I have a drug problem and I have a drinking problem. Then there's a sexual deviation. <laughs> I myself am very much into six sums or seven sums instead of three sums. <laughs> You know, if I don't make love to more than six women at a time. <laughs> a lot of individuals say, you have a sexual deviancy. 